Love the look of Helm Weave, but don't know how to make it? Stick around, we'll help you out. Hi, my name's Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chain Mail Basics videos. Today we'll be showing you how to make Helm Weave. Uh, it's a fairly easy weave but with a great unique look that is also a fantastic basis for some weaves further down the track. Alright guys, let's get started. Okay, so here's some sample pieces in various gauges of Helm Weave. Now I'll list all of these details in the description tab below, so don't worry if you um, miss out as I um, mention them, you'll be able to see all of that information in the description tab. Alright, so firstly, starting with 14 gauge AWG, which is 1.6 millimeter diameter wire, the two ring sizes I've used here today in the bright aluminium, which is the silver rings, I've used 9.5 millimeter ID rings and the anodized aluminium rings, they are a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeter ID. Okay. The next one is 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. Again, the bright aluminium rings are 7.5 millimeter ID and the anodized aluminium rings, this time in royal blue. These ones are 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeters. Okay, next in line is 18 gauge AWG, which is one millimeter diameter wire. The bright aluminium rings are six mil ID. The anodized aluminium rings, uh, this time gold, are five thirty seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. And the last one is 20 gauge AWG, which is 0 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. The bright aluminium rings are 5 mil ID. The anodized aluminium rings, this time in our dark rose, are um, 1 eighth of an inch or 3.18 millimeter ID. So that's some of the sizes that we would recommend uh, that you use to make helm weave. I'm going to show you how to do this today in the 14 gauge so that it's easier for you guys to see on the screen. So to make the 14 gauge bracelet at approximately 20 centimeters or 8 inches in length, you're going to need 38 of the large bright aluminium rings, the 9.5 millimeter. So 38 of these and the anodized aluminium in a quarter inch, you'll need 60, uh, sorry, 24 rings of these, my apologies. You will also need um, some sort of clasp. I've just got a simple lobster clasp and I've got a couple of different sized rings for clasp attachment. So I'll be using the smaller one to attach the lobster clasp. I'll pop this slightly larger one on the other end that we will close our clasp onto. You'll also need uh, two pairs of smooth jawed pliers. These are pliers from our Zuron range. These ones here are our chisel nose plier and this is our short nose plier. And you'll also um, need some sort of uh, handle, so something like a twist tie. Uh, mine's a bit battered, but if you've got a twist tie, a piece of wire, a paper clip, something like that as a handle to help start your weave, that would be great. Okay, so to start this weave, we're just going to close two of our anodized aluminium rings. So give them a quick close. And then with your larger ring, feed your two closed rings onto that. Close your ring up. And then take up another large ring and feed that through the same two anodized aluminium rings. So we've now got two bright aluminium rings and two anodized aluminium rings. So take up your twist tie or your paper clip, whatever it is you're using, and attach that to your bright aluminium rings, your large rings. Okay, so that our work now looks like this. 
So what we're going to do next is put in place the orbiting ring. So this ring actually doesn't go through any of the rings that are in the weave. They just sort of get sandwiched in between some of them. So to do that, we want to look at the side of our work here. And uh, we're going to place our new ring between our two previous um, bright aluminium rings all the way through. We take that all the way through and out the other side. Let me just move these out of the way. That's a bit distracting. Okay, so I'll do that again through one side and out the other so that you can see now that this ring sits around or orbits our anodized aluminium rings. Okay, so once we've got it to that point, we close that ring up. So as you can see, that's not actually going through any rings. It's just sandwiched in there between these two rings here. Okay, so our next step involves another bright aluminium ring. And this time we're going to feed this ring through our anodized aluminium rings that are already in our weave here, through our small rings on one side. So just pop it through there like that and close it up. Flip our work over to the other side and repeat on the same, repeat the same on the other side of the weave. Okay, so just straight through the anodized aluminium rings. We're not touching that BA ring that we just put in before, just through the anodized aluminium rings. Okay, so this is what our work should look like now. Now we just need to take up an anodized aluminium ring and we're going to feed that through those two rings that we just placed, our two bright aluminium rings, our big rings. Pop it in there, close it up, okay. Take up another colored ring and feed it through the same space. Okay, so now you can sort of see that we're back at the begin beginning again and we need to place another one of these orbiting rings. So we just do what we did before. We take an open large ring, we feed it between our two most recently placed BA rings, straight through there, making sure we don't pick anything up. We just want to have it sandwiched between those two rings all the way out the other side making sure that it orbits our AA rings there and close that up. Okay, and that's basically the weave. So we just now go back to putting our two rings, one on each side of our orbiting ring. So taking up a bright aluminium ring, popping it through our AA rings on one side, close that up turn our work over and place another ring on the other side. So that's all there really is to helm weave. As you can see, it's a fairly simple weave, um, but that it, I found quite popular in its look because it's a bit unique with the orbiting rings in there. So you just keep adding your rings as we have been until you reach the length of weave that you desire, okay, that you need for your bracelet. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here just to show you how we place uh, the clasp attachments. Okay, so I've finished weaving my helm bracelet for the length that I need and I end as I started with two of uh, the large rings, okay? So I've removed the twist tie from the beginning of the weave and I'm just going to take up um, our small clasp attachment ring and this can be any small ring that you have and I'm going to feed it through both of the large end rings okay and before I close that ring up I'm going to take my lobster clasp these are our stainless steel 003 lobster clasps we find those quite good when working with 14 gauge weaves we just pop that on there and we close that ring up. Okay, so that's what it looks like that on that end. And then on the other end, we just take our other clasp attachment ring 
and we feed that through those two rings there as well. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need to make yourself a helm weave bracelet. Okay guys, well that's our video today. I hope it was of help to you. If it was help, don't forget to give us a thumbs up here at YouTube, uh, share our video, post any comments or questions you've had down below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like to give us a little bit more support and help us create more content for you in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell so you'll get all notifications of new content as we upload it. We've also got plenty of other tutorial videos here on our YouTube channel, so check some of those out. And last but not least, don't forget to go and have a look at our website where you can buy all these goodies that you need to create this weave and many more. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again sometime in the future. Bye now.